In another program, we looked at pharmacokinetics, what the body does to the drug. In this program, we focus on pharmacodynamics, what the drug does to the body. The goal of drug therapy is to achieve a good outcome, a therapeutic effect. It is important to bear in mind that not all drug actions are beneficial. Medications may result in both therapeutic and toxic effects. Pharmacodynamics involves three mechanisms of action, receptor, enzyme, and non-selective interactions. Receptor interactions occur at the cell receptor site, usually a protein structure within the cell membrane. Receptor sites vary as to the substances they attract and the degree to which they attract them. An example of such an interaction occurs with calcium channel blockers, which block the flow of calcium at the receptor site, leading to a reduction in muscle contraction, thus reducing hypertension. When multiple drugs seek to interact with a receptor, the one with the strongest affinity for that receptor will have the greatest response and be absorbed in higher concentration, leaving more of the other substance as a free drug in the circulation. Enzyme interactions are most frequently seen in relation to the metabolism of drugs. Enzymes act as catalysts in nearly every chemical reaction that takes place in the cells. Drugs can enhance or inhibit the catalytic actions of these enzymes. The degree to which this happens affects both the drug action and the time required for its elimination. For example, drug toxicity can occur when consuming large amounts of grapefruit juice while taking statin drugs. Constituents in the juice interfere with a liver metabolic enzyme, preventing the proper breakdown of these drugs. This increases the concentration of the statin and can cause the life-threatening condition rhabdomyolysis, which involves the breakdown of muscle tissue. The third mechanism of action is non-selective interactions. These occur when drugs chemically alter or physically interfere with cellular structures or their processes. Chemotherapy is an excellent example of non-selective interaction. Cancer cells proliferate more rapidly than healthy cells, so many chemotherapeutic drugs act by attacking rapidly proliferating cells, both cancerous and